going on guys? Harley Davidson sent me a letter in the mail concerning my warranty. We're going to discuss it and see what it means to all of us Harley Davidson owners on our way to tacos. The Snakester. Got the genuine Harley Davidson LED package out front. Got the new exhaust. The stage one is complete with the high flow k and air filter and the Gallup 2 into one Mighty Comet exhaust system. that beautiful Evo loop. Got the Saddleman Renegade seat, my tech mount, all sorts of good and fun personalizations and updates to my 2021 Iron 883. And that's important to me because I wanted to personalize my bike the way I want to personalize it. And that gets into our discussion today about this letter in the mail from Harley Davidson. So let's discuss it on our way to tacos. So a couple months back, I reported on the FTC filing a complaint against Harley Davidson in court concerning their warranty practices and their printed warranty literature that's included with every new bike purchase in 2021 and 2022. And I reported on that incident as soon as it happened in this clip right above in that little box up there. If you want to click on it, cool. I also have a link below. And Harley Davidson basically has violated the Magnuson Moss Act the last couple of years. And the FTC said, no, nope, enough's enough. The FTC gave them a 30-day time period for which to correct the action that would be acceptable to them. And so they submitted their plan to the FTC. FTC said, okay. And the result of that is letter in the mail. Woo! Love the sound of this exhaust. This is kind of a sneak peek at my stage one. I haven't done the release video of it yet. No, you're not seeing things, nor are you hearing things. Well, let's get some tacos at Fuzzy's and open this letter up. All right, let's see what this letter contains from Harley Davidson about the warranty consumer notice. Hmm, let's take a look at this. Changes to your Harley Davidson motorcycle warranty. The Federal Trade Commission, the nation's consumer protection agency, has reached a settlement with Harley Davidson and some of our warranty provisions. The FTC alleges that Harley Davidson motorcycle warranty violated federal law when it indicated that you and other Harley Davidson owners have to use genuine Harley Davidson parts and authorized service providers to keep your warranty coverage. The FTC also alleges that we didn't fully explain in our warranty what it covers and excludes. And it says that was also unlawful. I like how they word that. To settle the matter, we've agreed to revise our warranty. And we're enclosing a copy of the revised warranty here. All right, big point here. Let's see. Do I have to use genuine Harley Davidson parts and services to maintain my warranty? No. Okay. You can elect to use non-genuine Harley Davidson parts or service providers not authorized by Harley Davidson and still maintain your warranty. Great. Does my Harley Davidson warranty cover the cost of repairing damages or defects caused by using another company's parts or by a service provider that is not affiliated with Harley Davidson? No. Harley Davidson can deny warranty claims for damages and defects that are caused by using another company's parts or accessories or caused by using non-authorized service providers. It says here, Harley Davidson will also deny warranty claims for functional defects of powertrain components tuned using a tuning product not covered by the California Air and Resources Board executive order or not otherwise authorized by the United States Environmental Protection Agency. I wonder if that means my dyno jet that I just installed is an issue. Hmm. All right, let's see what's on the back side of this. Are there any other reasons why Harley Davidson may deny my warranty claim for damages and defects? Yes. Harley Davidson can deny warranty claims for the damages and defects that are caused by using a genuine Harley Davidson part or accessory not authorized for use on your motorcycle. Okay. Caused by misuse of your motorcycle, like using it for racing or competition, or caused by installing parts designed for improper uses of your motorcycle, like a trailer hit. That seems reasonable. What should I do if I think an authorized Harley Davidson dealer improperly refused to honor my warranty? If the dealer refuses to honor your warranty on the grounds that non-genuine Harley Davidson parts or services were used without explaining how those parts or services caused damage, then give them a call at this number. Or you can also report at FTC, reportfraud.ftc.gov. All right, I'll post that information on the screen in just a little bit. Uh, let's see, let's open this booklet up. Maintenance responsibilities. 
Hmm. 1,000 miles. First 1,000 miles, make an appointment with your dealer. Bring this manual with you. Have the dealer technician sign the maintenance record in the owner's manual at the proper mileage interval. These records should be retained by the owner as proof of proper maintenance. Keep receipts covering any parts, service, or maintenance, and these records should be transferred to each subsequent owner. Here we go. While you may elect to use non-genuine Harley-Davidson parts for maintenance and repair services, Harley-Davidson is not obligated to pay for repairs of the non-genuine Harley-Davidson parts or for repairs of any damage resulting from the use of the non-genuine parts. Okay, here's a little note. It's possible to overload the vehicle's charging system by adding too many electrical devices. I guess uh, too many radios and LED lights on some of these baggers is causing issues. I did just add a USB charging system, so. Huh, let's see, next page. Consumer notice. Do I have to use genuine Harley-Davidson parts and service to maintain my warranty? No. By law, we can't void your warranty just because you install another company's parts. Use a service provider that is not authorized by Harley-Davidson or do maintenance or repair work yourself. That's good because I either work on my own bike because I'm learning to work on my bike or I have an independent mechanic, Juan Romoto, Pedro, who works on my bikes. So they won't vo void my warranty because I'm doing that. That's awesome. Does my Harley-Davidson warranty cover the cost of repairing damages or defects caused by using another company's parts or by a service provider that is not affiliated? with Harley Davidson. No, Harley Davidson can deny warranty claims for damages and defects that are caused by another company's parts or non-authorized service provider. So, I mean, that makes sense. They didn't put the thing in or I didn't use a authorized Harley Davidson labor or I used a part that wasn't Harley Davidson and they shouldn't be responsible. That's fair. Harley Davidson also deny warranty claims for any tuning products. So I got to check into my Dynatune here, my Dynajet. Any other reasons why Harley Davidson may deny warranty claims for damages or defects? Yes, Harley Davidson can deny warranty claims for damages and defects that are caused by using a genuine Harley-Davidson part or accessory not authorized for use on your motorcycle. All right, so make sure you use the parts that are assigned to your specific model. Next page. I'm not going to go through all the pages, but I'm going to hit the highlights. What should I do if I think an authorized Harley-Davidson dealer improperly refused to honor my warranty? You can give them a call or you can call or contact the FTC. Fantastic. I'll throw that information up on the screen. Duration. The duration of this limited warranty is 24 months, starting at the initial retail purchase and delivery, or two years after the model year launch of the vehicle in question. Example, an unsold 2022 vehicle warranty will start when the 2024 models start to ship. Well, that's good to know if you buy a, a dealer old stock model that's laying around. All right, next page. Looks like this one's for all you Pan America owners. Harley Davidson's Pan America was designed for on-road and off-road and moderate off-road use. <laughs> hey, let's see. For on-road, off-road motorcycles, this limited warranty will not cover claims arising from. Number six, a motorcycle which has been in an accident, collision, drop. So if you drop your motorcycle, and everybody knows that ADV bikes, everybody drops their ADV bike. Well, guess what? No coverage for that or anything resulting because of the drop. Interesting. Parts and labor for normal maintenance as recommended. Let's see, that makes sense. Other limitations. This limited warranty does not cover parts and labor for normal maintenance as recommended in the owner's manual, okay? Anything that's cosmetic damage, that makes sense. All right, let's jump back to this. Harley Davidson will deny warranty claims for functional defects of powertrain components tuned using a tuning product not covered by the California Air and Resources Board or not otherwise authorized by the United States EPA. So I just purchased this Dynojet 4, Dynojet Motorcycle Power Vision 4, and I'm gonna do a full review on it. Um, it was part of my stage one package that I did with my k high flow air filter and my Gallup exhaust um, and my Gallup two into one exhaust. And I'm curious if this is valid. Let's, let's see. Here's an interesting article. The California Air Resources Board reached a settlement agreement with Dynojet for 2.1 million. This is in February of this year. This is the second enforcement action against Dynojet. In 2007, CARP settled for 1 million for selling non-exempt aftermarket vehicle parts in California. Interesting. All right, looks like Dynojet. California ARB, Air Resource Board Approved Power Commander 4. Perfect. All right, so use a Power Commander 4 and you're good to go. You don't have to use Screaming Eagle. Now, tuning is going to become a big issue in the next couple of years. You're going to find out. Sources at Harley-Davidson have told me that in 2023, they're going to lock down all of their motorcycles just like Tesla does on their cars. 
and it's going to make it impossible for you to tune your bike without the dealer's assistance unless you wipe the ECM clean. And I don't know what the workaround is for that. So right now you're seeing companies like Dynajet with their PowerVision products. The tunes that come with these products are not plentiful. There's like a basic tune and that's it. So the days of these custom tunes um, are gonna be going, from an over-the-counter product, are gonna be going away. Now you can bring it to a dyno machine and use the dyno software. You know, if you know have a connection for that, then you know I'm sure that you can wipe the ECM and, and, and make a t custom tune but um, this is gonna be pretty interesting moving forward. All right, all this warranty talk is making me thirsty and the lovely waitress just bought me a fresh beer. So let's have some beer and tacos and then we'll pick up the conversation. So what does that mean about, you know, things that I've done on my bike? Just added this new USB connection, this new USB charger, and this coiled cord keeps it connected and charged. Well, that's not a genuine Harley Davidson item, so they're not gonna warranty it. The only option for changing out your brake pedal on a Sportster, because theirs is one piece cast, is to get a custom one made. So I had one of these made by Boosted Brad, Death Metal Racing. I was hoping to have the Dominion matching one for that but that what they provide is a slip-on so that didn't work out so they're saying this fails it's not their responsibility which i agree upon that makes sense but this part here if it broke off has nothing to do with this right that's what harley davidson's saying because in order for them to say anything else the ftc said you have to provide the parts for free the oil for free for your maintenance then they're not doing that so they're allowing you to choose what oil goes into your motorcycle, what additional parts you can add to modify your motorcycle, and still retain your warranty, but they're just not going to cover these additional parts. Now, the only gray area is, is that if, you know, I had to change out my levers because I low-sided and the lever bent, the bunking protected my gas tank and all that good stuff, but this still got a little bent, so I changed out my levers. If something happens to the lever, it's not covered, but if something, the lever contributed to cause inside the master and cylinder reservoir, for instance, which I don't know if that's possible, uh, but you know, they can you're putting yourself in a situation where there's a gray area and they could contrive something if they're not honest at the service department saying, Hey, you have aftermarket parts that led to this. So that's the risk. That's the risk that we take when we modify our bikes. But for two years, that's the warranty from Harley Davidson. Who's not gonna update their sporty, you know, or any bike that for that matter? There's very few bikes out there that Harley produces that you're not gonna change out some kind of part on your bike. You know. I went a year and four months on stock exhaust before I upgraded. So eh. I got six months left on my warranty for my factory warranty, and I, I bought an extended warranty. So that has a totally different conditions than the manufacturer's warranty. That's the risk that you go in on these things when you modify your bike. So to me, nothing's really changed except that, you know, it's in writing now and it's laid out, but there's still maneuverability and wiggle room um, from the manufacturer uh, standpoint and at the dealer level, you know, that's where it's gonna happen. But the good news is that if you're mechanically inclined and you deduce that there's a genuine Harley Davidson part on the bike, then through the dealer, you can file a claim. But you know, they're gonna wanna evaluate and check that out. They have a diagnostic machine um, and they have, from what I understand, a computer program that the Harley Davidson dealer works with that gives them a plausible list of options on what the problem could be. And if it falls in with one of those boxes and depending on how they check those boxes with the aftermarket parts, you're covered or you're not gonna be covered. fuzzy tacos. So I think that's pretty clear as mud, wouldn't you agree? <laughs> Throw some questions down in the comments. Let's talk about it. Let's let's discuss the Harley Davidson warranty. I appreciate you coming along with me. And if you ride, keep that shiny side up. And if you don't ride, what are you waiting for? There's a Harley Davidson motorcycle out there with your name on it. All you gotta do is buy it and join us. We're waiting for you. All right, see you next time. Hey guys, it's Haley. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell for notifications. See you next time.